Welcome to Fairy's Film Vault, the show that gives you random film reviews through my perspective. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, Fairy, you're wearing something that's not dark. Well, you can thank this suggestion by a subscriber. I'd like to see you do a review in space. Huh? What do you guys think? Now, do you see why I'm wearing gray now? Although I'm pretty sure that gray is still in the dark category, so technically, I'm still wearing a dark shirt. Anywho, since we're in space, I'd like to take this opportunity to do a review for 2001 A Space Odyssey. How relevant of us. As you might have already known, 2001 A Space Odyssey is a film by Stanley Kubrick who did The Shining, A Clockwork Orange, and Full Metal Jacket. So that should give you a hint as to what you're gonna get yourself into with this film. The summary goes in which mankind finds a mysterious artifact buried on the moon and with the intelligent computer HAL sets off on a quest in space. I knew that Stanley Kubrick is a very artsy filmmaker and sometimes that gimmick is either a hit or a miss. But for 2001, he just went way overboard in my opinion. Throughout the whole film, I was filled with questions and confusion. Why am I watching people in monkey costume acting like monkeys for half an hour? Then the scene suddenly changed to space. What? There's just questions after questions with this film and a whole lot of confusion that at the end, I was just totally weirded out. Yes, weird would be the word I used to describe this film and not in a good way. The story just seems way too abstract for my taste bud. But there are some redeeming quality for this film. It has an amazing score and really good use of some classical tunes like Also Sprag Zarathustra and The Blue Danube. The visuals are also incredible, which is to be expected from a Kubrick film. There are some special effects shots that kept me asking myself, how did they do that? And this time in a really good way. All of the production value and quality associated with the entire space sequence are epic and still stands even to today's standard. Great work, people. Great work. I was having a discussion with a colleague at work about this film who've read the book first, then watched the film, and loving them both. Funny thing was he was able to summarize the whole film into one word. Hear me now. One word. Which I'm not telling by the way, and I just went, oh, so that's what this about. But unfortunately the die is already cast since I didn't get that message at all when I first watched it, so I'm giving this a bad. Bring on the hate. and our first space adventure is coming to the end of his journey. I'm sure there'll be more to come in the future, but for now, don't forget to post any sort of comments you might have below, since I always enjoy our digital interactions. And if you like the show, don't forget to subscribe. It's just one click away, so you'll always be up to speed with regards to anything about the show. But that's it. I'll see you at the next review.